remember your pain before the surgery? Yeah, I was, I couldn't walk in my shop for over an hour. I, it hurt so bad I had to lay down. It just You're a carpenter, right? Yep. So how does a carpenter live with the back pain and work with the back pain anymore? You learn to live with it. Yeah. Until yeah. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. Now, my note says that you had back pain up to 10 of 10 from breath before the surgery, as well pain going down the leg here and here. How is that pain here and here? There are no pain. I mean, no pain there. Yeah. When, do you, when did you notice that pain is gone? After the surgery and okay. after everything started yeah. healing, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. as well, <coughs> my note says that, you know, the back pain was as well 10. How bad is the back pain these days? Now? Yeah. Generally. At times of five. With certain activity you told right. me, right? Like but in the morning it's sore and then mm -hmm. as I get up and start walking it gets better. Yeah, yeah. Now we just looked at the films. We did a two-level fusion and you had a scoliosis. First of all, scoliosis is gone. All the screws are in good position. Bone actually growing in the where we put the spacers here. In the back still has to grow, but overall it's very good. And as well, this is the record of the surgery. We did the surgery in 54 minutes. We stayed just one night in the hospital and we lost two, about two ounces of blood. How long after the surgery did you walk? Uh, I'd say a couple of hours after couple the surgery. A couple of hours, okay. Okay. Come out of the okay. Okay. Now, aesthetic. what are the things you can do now that you couldn't do before the surgery? You said you couldn't stand, you couldn't do this and that. But what are the specific things that you can, you think you can do better now, six months after the surgery? Well, I can, I can walk and yeah. I can be around my shop yeah. a couple couple hours, you know, and yeah. sometimes I can feel coming on, so I take a break, but. Yeah, and may I ask you what you notice the difference between how he lives now and before the surgery? What do you um, notice? I, I think that he, is doing much better. He's mm -hmm. always very afraid that the screws are going to come yeah. loose. <laughs> because he's too active or what? Yeah, because he wants to run his chainsaw, but he's afraid the vibration yeah, is yeah, going to yeah. cause problems. So. Okay, he has a good common sense. You yes. should be careful. Yeah. <laughs> well, everything inside is perfect. Bone is growing. And uh, this is the good version. You know, usually it takes much longer after open surgery to be where you are meaning that some activity is still causing pain, but the pain that was 10 is gone. And that with the surgery that was less than an hour, with the two ounces of blood loss and uh, significantly shorter hospital stay and so on. So you still have to be careful. I see you have a good common sense, keep using it. But overall, I'm very happy with the result and it seems the healing is going on accordingly, okay? Mm -hmm. Any question for me, any comment? No, just... I can't run on anything that's vibrating like a blower to blow leaves. Yeah, Stay away yeah, from that. yeah, yeah right? that's a good observation. Those things that they cause lots of vibration, they just put too much stress yes, on our yeah. spine. And how old are you? Me? 59. 59. So you're not 20 anymore. So yeah. you have to just live like somebody who's 59. Yeah. Not like somebody who's 19. Yeah. So, but I guess you have a good common sense. I think you'll be just fine. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the interview.